All right, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and honors and salutations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. All right, so this is, um, First Samuel, all right, the 17th chapter. I'm going to start at verse 23. Okay, but, um, pretty much uh, as I'm going to entitle this, uh, the prophets, the elect is King David, and America is Goliath. Okay, now, that's not, um, you know, some strange breakdown, you know, I'm trying to make. It's just, you know, an example, you know, according to history, all right, is, is, is what we like and done to, you know, you got to clear that up because a lot of fucking bug outs out here making up strange uh, doctrine, man, like how the spirit resides in the stomach, you know, those clowns, man, and there's no ICBMs, so forth, so on, man, you know, but um, the elect is likened unto King David, man, and America is likened unto Goliath, okay, when you check out the history. You know, and we got to start saying history, man. All right. More more so rather than stories. OK, because while it, it kind of is a story, it's more so history, man. You know, we don't want to discredit that this Bible is a history book. All right. Not really a story, a storybook, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's first Samuel 1723. And as he and as he talked with them. Behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words, and David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were sore afraid. Alright? So, as I said, like, uh, Goliath... America is likened unto Goliath. Well, that's my first example here. All of Israel, which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you guys are, are, are so afraid of America, man. You afraid to uh, speak out against uh, the wickedness and the and the unjustness, all right, of this place. You scared to condemn Esau, all right, which is the so-called white man. All right. That's why when they ride by sometimes and talk shit, they're just really they're just jealous, man, because they don't have the balls to do what we do. All right. You know, it's always haters, man. Somebody that actually is ready to stand up for something because they actually too afraid to do it themselves. So they just hate, man. That's that's the nature of our people. Haters. Jake made that that term up, man. Yo, you a hater, man. Yeah, well, that's our people, man. So verse 25, and the men of Israel said, have ye seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. All right. So let me jump down to him um, down here. Because I really just want to get that point where all of Israel was scared of him. Hey, yeah, because as a matter of fact, let me jump back. Because in today and age, all Israel is scared of America, man. <clears throat> this is um, Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 9. Also, I say, it is not good that ye do, or ye not to walk in the fear of our power because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies. See that? And you got a lot of people like that, man. You got a lot of our people trying to fit in, suit and tie Negroes. You got a lot of people that get sh uh, shape ups, Canaanite lineups. Okay, all to fit in and make Esau feel comfortable when they're around. You know? You got our own people coming up against us because we're trying to uh, tell them their true nationality, man. Alright, because we're trying to. Uh, you know, give hope that there's a way out of this place. 
But they sew up our enemy's ass that they come up against us for it, man. All right? Got Because they don't got the balls to speak out, man. Against against them. All right? Okay, not knocking, uh, not knocking these men. You know, from these days. Okay, but um, hey, they didn't they, it, which is all set up through the spirit, all right, for us to learn, as well. As scriptures say, all things are written a full time for our learning, but uh, they didn't have the balls, man, to 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 step up to Goliath, man. Okay, only King David did, man. And it's the same thing like us today. Matter of fact, before I continue on, um, Psalm chapter ninety-four, verse sixteen: Who will rise up for me against the evil doers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? You see that? So that's what Yahweh Bashem Ashai, you know, through the Spirit is asking. Okay, who's gonna because? Back here with Goliath, Goliath was talking shit, all right, about our nation, about our power. And the Lord, like, the Lord just sitting waiting, like, yo, who about the, who got enough faith? Who gonna stand up against this heathen, okay, for my namesake? All right, and King David was the one that did it. But even more so in this day and age, it's like, that's why I named this lesson. We like unto King David, man. All right, because here you got Esau, instead of talking shit, all right, which which he does that too, he's just being wicked, man. He's trying to deceive and snake and trick, all right, his way into uh, um, disrespecting us, man, disrespecting our power. Yeah, because he, he put Serapis Christus in place of Yahweh Shai to be worshipped. So he's doing the same thing except uh, a billion times worse. Then you know Goliath, man. And we can't, and like King, and just like King David, we can't stand for that shit. You know, somebody got to step up and defend our power. All right, not saying that he needs it, but he just looking to see who gonna, who gonna do it, who gonna be the good son, man. Somebody got to do it. That's why you niggas is gonna die for opening your mouths against us, man. You don't even know what you're doing. You know not what you do. All right, so um, so just watch out, man. Step aside, and uh, hey, let the men of the Lord handle this, man. All right, so uh, first Samuel chapter seventeen, verse forty. Hey, I don't mean to sound uh prideful, man, but them niggas, man, you know, it's just difference between you know. Pride, but that's getting into something else, man. You can have pride and confidence and faith within your how about Shema Shah, but you can't be on it like like these you know the examples that the Lord put forth. Alright? Saying that they did it on their own, man. Type spirit, type pride. But anyway, so like if uh rambling on. For Samuel seventeen and forty four, and the Philistine said to David, All Right, come to me. And I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, to the beasts of the field. See that? So, hey, Goliath is just talking shit, man. Mind you, the whole time, all of Israel is shook. Why? Because he's strong. You know, he's powerful. All right, they call him the champion. I mean, he was whipping ass. And that's America, man. Okay? So, America got all, all of our people shook. Uh, then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast to fight. Okay? But I come to thee in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the power of hosts. Alright? The power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast to fight. See that? And that's the same thing what we doing, man. In this day and age, every time we go out through the highways and byways, we open up and close up in the name of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Okay? So, hey, we ain't, we ain't doing this of, of our own will, man. We don't have confidence 
within ourself. All right, bodily exercise profit of little, man. We just coming to you in the name of how about Shimal Shai, all right? And it says, um, let me skip, jump right to the point. Right, verse 48. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it. And smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. Alright? So, there it is right there, man. King David slayed Goliath. Why? Because of Yahweh Ba'ashim al You know? So, that's why I compare it to, to, to today. 2019. So, uh, so they say. You know, in America is is likened unto that Goliath, man. All right, that huge giant who everybody is uh, uh, afraid of, and then you got King David who was ruddy, I meaning he was in his youth. All right, who had it in him? All right, who had enough faith in Yahweh Bashmashai? Okay, and was bold enough to challenge him, man. And that's us in this day and age, man. And just as it said, um. Just as it said, uh, just as it said right here, verse 48, and it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. See that? Right, because King David was, hey, he was talking, Goliath was talking shit, King David was talking shit back. To hear what the Philistine arose, he got tired of like, yo, you talking way too much shit. You know? So to me, all right, you know what I'm saying? Because he was like the champion or whatever. So he, he the one that arose first and came near to meet David. That's the same thing I was going to be with America. Like, yo, yeah, hey, y'all talking way too much shit against the mighty America. And they're going to come to try and meet us. All right, Isaiah 59 and 19. They're going to try and meet us first. And what? That was his death. He literally ran to his death, man. He ran to get a fucking stone sunk in his damn forehead, man. That's an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment, man. So, of course, I got to get Isaiah, just what I said. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Right. Just as on that day, just as King David said. They gonna learn to fear the name of Yahweh Bashmashai, cause he ain't do that of his own will. He did it off the name of Yahweh Bashmashai, man. So just as he took down the mighty Goliath, hey, Yahweh Shai is gonna come back and take down the mighty America, okay? In the name of Yahweh Bashmashai, and we also gonna be playing our part as well in that. It says when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. See that? So just as Goliath got sick of King David talking that hot shit. America gonna get sick of us talking shit. Really, we're not talking shit, really. Of prophesying. Okay? Reading from our Bibles. And condemning this place for being the most wickedest, sinful kingdom to ever exist. And when they're gonna come after us, like... Goliath tried to come out to King David. They're going to meet their maker, man. They're going to meet their maker, man. You know, they're going to uh, not even meet their match. They're going to be outmatched. Okay. So, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, you know. America's Goliath and, and the elect is like, you know, to David, man. All right. So, you know, we are, we are the house of David, okay. And we got to be bold and, uh, and come with faith, you know, and braveness, just as King David did, man, you know. And then what happened in the end, he was he was praised, man, by men. And then he was favored by Yahweh Bashem al Okay, because they sang what? The woman soul slayed thousands and King David his ten thousands. So now when we take this place down, <clears throat> all right, through the spring power, Yahweh Bashem al when they try and come after us first, you know, because we ain't doing nothing carnal. 
All right, just as those women were singing, okay, for King David, they're going to be trying to be singing, coming after us, man. All right, so shalom.